Hi, it's Terry Arbenton from the Forensic Science Academy broadcasting live in Southern California where, guess what, it's raining. Anyway, I wanted to take a little bit of some time to let you know what we have in store next. The Academy is starting in April. Yikes! So what does that mean? If you haven't applied already, you better get on the shtick because uh, I think as of yesterday we, we had over a hundred applicants. And the program is a six month long program that will provide hands on training for you in the areas of basic crime scene, advanced crime scene, death investigations, forensic photography, um, oh, yeah, hello, fingerprinting, uh, identification, and comparison. So, you know, I'll get the information for you, I'll post this on here, but, um, but I wanted to tell you what we're working on. You may not know that we have an online training program as well. Now, of course, we can't you know, give you all the ins and outs of uh, some of the things that we cover in the academy because that's all hands-on, but we can bring you and we are going to be bringing you some classes that mirror the theory and some of the hands-on training in the Forensic Science Academy. For example, I'm actually working on um, the Investigator's Crime Scene uh, Checkoff List. Um, and that is a list, and I'll show it to you right here. I know it's going to be backwards, but it's a list that gives you the steps of when you arrive to the crime scene. So what to do before you actually start investigating, who to speak to, um, what to document, et cetera, et cetera. Um, scene briefing, scene walkthrough, all these other great tips, sketching and diagramming, evidence collection, processing, uh, report writing, and of course, courtroom testimony. So we're going to be working on those classes and we're going to be putting those on the online training academy, which is called ForensicTrainingUnlimited.com. So that's what's in store. We have a couple of uh, workshops coming up uh, and seminars located here in Southern California. And of course we have webinars. So if you're not in the local area, and if you are, you know it's raining today right now. Um, if you're not locally to Southern California, please don't, don't worry. We have training for you and you, you don't want to miss out on it. So I'm going to be doing these live broadcasts and I'm going to start setting up some um, ask, you know, chat with Terry, forensic chat, if you will. So if you have any questions about your forensic career, then please, please throw them my way. But here's the tip for today and get the question, you know, I want, a, I want a career in forensic science. You know, what do I do? The tip of the day is you need to research that position. So for example, if you want to be a criminalist, and generally those individuals will work in a crime lab or processing the scene at a lab type setting, you want to research what are the education requirements for that. What are they looking for uh, for a criminalist? Uh, what type of classes do you need to take? What type of organizations do you need to belong to? So that is going to differ um, for the criminalist versus a crime scene investigator because there's two different types of duties involved. So the tip is you've got to research your career, your forensic career, and you've got to invest in that research. So reading a lot about the, um, the position that you want, again, what the education requirements are, uh, the experience, uh, who you need to connect with, um, organizations you need to belong to, et cetera, et cetera. So before you even embark on that, try to narrow down what you want to do. I commonly call it, gotta get laser focused. So that's the tip of the day. Get, re get your research going when it comes to what type of forensic career you want and make sure you know what you're getting yourself into. And the reason why I say that is because I had one student that wanted to be a death investigator and then when we went to tour the coroner's office, uh, couldn't quite handle that particular smell. So in a sense, it's a learning opportunity and it was good for her because she realized that she, she just couldn't do that. So before you do all that, um, you know, make sure, again, you know what you're getting yourself into. So if you've got any questions, please put them down below. I will answer them and I'll send you the link uh, for the upcoming online course. It's just a, a wait list right now because we haven't uh, yet done it. I'll put the, the link of uh, how to become a crime scene investigator. Basically, what does it take to become a crime scene investigator? All right. Thanks for listening. I appreciate it. And if you're here in Southern California, stay dry.